Hey guys, happy weekend. So no bike ride today. Uh, it has been two weeks again, uh, super crazy at work. So I decided to get myself a direct ride smart trainer. So uh, in this video, we're gonna have a look what's inside, basic unboxing. I'm not going to do a full review. Uh, anyway, I'm not a pro cyclist, not even a pro Swifter. So we'll just focus on what's inside, how to set it up, and to get it started with my bike. So, join me, let's go! Hey guys, so this is my uh, Magin T100 uh, Semi Smart Direct Drive Bike Trainer. As you can see from the time lapse video while setting it up, I just wanted to iterate, you know, a few things. So uh, again, it basically transmits through, you know, Unplus uh, Bluetooth uh, connect with, you know, various apps. So like your again Swift. RGD. It's basically supported by you know a two AAA battery uh, that is basically attached here. So again, no power cord needed. Uh, you can ride anytime, anywhere. Uh, it, take note, it does not come with you know the cassette uh, as as shown here. So I you know did purchase this separately. Uh, although if you don't have a spare, you can basically again dismantle the you know cassette that you have on your wheel and then to set it up. It's basically ideal to purchase the same you know cassette size that you have installed in your actual. Bike. Also, it does not come with you know true axle. So if you're riding on you know true axle setup with your wheels, you may need or separate uh, true axle uh, adapters. Uh, but good thing, you know, the seller of this uh, bike trainer did uh, hook me up with three, uh, you know, true axle adapters, which maybe co would cost me roughly, you know, another $20, $30. Thank you to the seller. I'll, you know, put in the description link where you can actually connect and maybe, you know, uh, perhaps get a better deal than mine. So. Before using your uh, Magin T100 bike trainer, make sure to calibrate it first with the Magin Utility app. Here, uh, we'll search for uh, T100. As you can see here, I have already pre-calibrated my bike trainer uh, before this video. So in this case, I'm going to show you how it works with uh, Wahoo RGT, so go to menu, tap sensors, and here you would see that my cadence, Wahoo cadence, uh, and also ticker heart rate are all connected, plus the bike trainer, which would now start to measure also your power, and will control all the 
uh, navigation and speed and so on. Just additional information. So for some of you who are new with Wow RGD, it's also a paid subscription app. But the good thing about uh, Wow RGD, it basically offers some, um, you know, training stages where it's free. So I would usually go for Borrego. Uh, you can sign up for race events join together with uh, some of the riders so many options for you there are dates simply connect and sign up for specific dates that are available you can also see how many riders have uh, signed up and yeah that's it let's go uh, look at the setup i have for the bike I do have a, you know, uh, training mat, uh, padded training mat for added comfort. I have uh, also a magic, not a riser block, but just to hold on to the wheel from moving from uh, sideways. Uh, I do have, you know, the. Uh, sweat covers so this is really useful guys so if you are into intense training so to prevent your sweat from actually dripping down to your, to your frame because those are you know acids that could ruin your paint this is how i basically set up the uh, ipad where i do look on to you know my uh, training training app so i'm currently with wahoo rgd uh, and then I usually, you know, position my phone over here. So if I wanted to, you know, do some, you know, social media chats and all. Yeah, so that's it. So now let's quickly talk about, you know, things I, you know, like and somehow dislike. So four points to, to highlight. So number one, I really like it because it's, it's portable, right? So as earlier shown it does not have the cord it can be easily operated by two AA batteries so uh, in short you can you know ride anytime anywhere second point is i really like about you know uh, how easy it is to connect with you know third party apps like uh, you know strava and also the uh, Wahoo RGT that I'm using. So easy to connect, it easily distinguish the uh, Magin uh, bike trainer, uh, connect easily, record activities, automatically upload to uh, apps like Strava. So that's second. Third point I wanted to highlight is it's quiet and I think you've heard this to many of the people who have done reviews. Uh, I've uh, previously used a, a wheel on trainer it's super noisy uh, you need I need to take it out to the balcony so that I don't disrupt people you know inside the house especially that I am doing most of my you know trainings uh, inside our living room uh, while also watching on the television finally the last point I wanted to highlight is basically the cost right so I'm a uh, you know, um, I'm always on a budget. I really don't spend too much money on things that I couldn't fully utilize, especially some of the features and so on. So for me, uh, I'm a beginner. Uh, I, I usually go for, you know, budget that uh, basically, you know, does the job, right? So, so now let's talk about a few things I, you know, dislike and I was, actually trying to contemplate on what I really you know dislike about the trainer and there's really not much right so and probably again uh, one thing I would like to highlight here that can be improved by Magin again is difficult to carry right so if you're moving this and you don't have a permanent you know area to do your training just like me I would usually need to you know set this up you know pack it up in the living room before and after use so it's difficult to carry because it doesn't have the handle so you would need to carry it as if you know you're holding like a, you know a baby and it's not you know it's not too light right so it's uh, roughly around you know 11 12 kilo bike trainers and maybe last thing you know because i, I really couldn't think of anything I, I really you know dislike about the trainer 
probably you know uh, I've, I've you know seen I've heard many uh, indoor cyclists who basically complain about you know the uh, manual adjustment on the resistance because again at the end of the day it's not a you know smart trainer and this is why it's called a semi-smart because it does not actually you know adjust the difficulty and gradient if you are you know descending or doing an, an uphill uh, ride so you would have to again manually adjust resistance but overall for me that's that's minor again uh, not a big deal for me so other than that i think uh, those are you know just a uh, small comments from my end on dislikes and errors so uh overall uh do i recommend the magin t100 uh pipe trainer so and for me the the answer is it's a yes and a no so yes if you're uh, you know an indoor cyclist guy like me who are basically new to this you know indoor cycling up I you know purposely uh, bought this to you know somehow bridge the gap on days weeks weekends where I, I'm not able to cycle because I wanted to rest over the weekend or basically you know the you know, monsoon and rains are basically de destroying your you know weekend plan right so it's easy for me to you know hop on set up the indoor bike trainer and do a quick you know uh, 10 15 uh, 20k on uh, certain bike routes and stuff so for me again if you're an occasional rider uh, you're a beginner like me you're uh, on a budget, uh, I definitely and strongly recommend that you do try this out. Uh, however, I you know I also don't recommend uh, the Magin T100 uh, if you are a you know serious indoor cyclist, right? So if you're into you know swift race, you're super competitive. Uh, again, you're a serious rider. You want to go to the next level. You're going beyond uh, maybe you know 700 watts. Uh, then uh, obviously this bike trainer or indoor bike trainer is not for you. So maybe you want to settle for you know the next level uh, models uh, for for Magin. It might be you know T200, T300, or even go get a you know a thousand dollar you know kicker cord and the likes, right? So. Uh, but again, uh, overall, uh, it depends on you know your riding styles and your capabilities. So again, if you are a guy like me, occasional rider, in the rider, uh, I don't need to go beyond you know 700 watts. I don't do races. Then this is just you know good enough for me to uh, uh, you know patch up my gaps between weekends and weekdays uh, to get me again at the end of the day. Uh, uh, feet and uh, burn my fats on <laughs> over the weekend so that's it guys I, I do hope you uh, pick up something in, in today's discussion uh, a little bit of review I'll share more uh, as soon as I ride more it has been you know a couple of hundred kilometers already with this bike trainer and so far I'm loving it I'm you know, I'm, I'm frequently using it. So till next time and uh, see you guys on actual weekend rides. Bye-bye.